This slide presentation provides an overview of recent research conducted by Penn State University. The full report was presented at TRB in 2016. The report presents the results of ballast box testing utilizing wireless smart rock technology to measure ballast rotation and translation under cyclic loading. Findings from this study showed that the ballast stabilized with TX190L reduced vertical displacement of the ballast by up to 85%. This study is applicable to all railway designers and rail maintenance personnel. The following slides and video provide the additional background, testing information, and results from this research. Railroad ballast consists of large size angular aggregates with uniform gradation. Ballast is placed under railroad ties to facilitate drainage and improve load distribution. Under repeated heavy loading, ballast particles move and rotate. Ballast movement results in a loss of track alignment. Additionally, this movement gradually erodes the ballast, increasing the number of fines and degrading the stability of the ballast by wearing down the sharp edges. Estimates from early research state that approximately 70 to 76 percent of fouling comes from ballast breakdown. The breakdown of the ballast results in greater deformation, poorer drainage, and loss of structural support. Degradation of ballast has been a major issue of railroads, affecting the costs associated with track maintenance and durability. In order to help reduce movement of the ballast, geogrids have been used to lock up the ballast and stabilize it. The purpose of this study was to better understand and qualify the effects of geogrid on ballast movement. To evaluate performance, a half section of railroad track was constructed in a ballast box. The bottom of the box contained a steel board to mimic a rigid foundation. For the stabilized section, 10 inches of clean ARIMA No. 4 ballast was placed on top of a layer of TX190L geogrid, which is a stiff hexagonal geogrid with triangular apertures sized to be compatible with the railroad ballast. On top of the ballast, two cross ties and an I-beam rail were placed. The control section was identical, excluding the layer of geogrid. Wireless 3D printed smart rocks, as shown on the right of this slide, were embedded in the ballast to monitor individual ballast particle movement under cyclic loading. 500 load cycles were applied for each test. Real-time accelerations were recorded by the smart rock, which recorded the particle movement and the particle rotation. Results demonstrated that TX190L stabilized the ballast, significantly reducing the amount of movement, rotation, and vertical displacement of the ballast. As shown on this slide, the translational movement which is where the ballast shifts under the load and is measured along the X, Y, and Z axes, is much greater for the non-stabilized section. Vertical displacement at the end of the 500 loading cycles was reduced by approximately 85% in the stabilized section. Ballast particle rotation was greatly reduced in the stabilized section. In comparing the chart on the right, stabilized with TX190L, against the chart on the left, without any stabilization, the difference is clear. The smart rock particle within the unstabilized ballast section has much higher rotational movements when subjected to cyclic loading. This particle rotation continues to increase with time, whereas the smart rock particle within the section stabilized with TX190L sustains low rotational movement over the entire 500 loading cycles. The smart rock utilized in this testing allowed the researchers to visually monitor and measure ballast movement. Smart rocks were placed below the edge and middle of the tie. The graphic on the right is a short video clip that will display the movement of the two sections of ballast under cyclic loading. The non-stabilized section is on the left and the geogrid stabilized section is on the right. The smart rocks are depicted on this graphic by the purple illustrations. The red X's in the graphics are placed at the center of the smart rocks for reference during the video. The smart rocks are wireless and they contain an accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer. As mentioned earlier, the smart rocks are 3D printed to be similar with real ballast. As loading from the actuator was applied to the sections, movement of the ballast can be seen. Over time, the translational acceleration and angular acceleration of the ballast in the unstabilized section becomes fairly significant. Compare this to the stabilized section with TX190L. There is a noticeable difference between the two in both translational and rotational movements over time.
Key findings from the study were that the TX190L geogrid restrained ballast particles from moving, reducing translational and rotational movement under cyclic loading. Surface vertical displacement was significantly reduced as a result of confinement. Put simply, Triax geogrid can extend maintenance cycles. By reducing ballast movement, the related issues of deformation and ballast breakdown are also reduced. Less time maintaining the ballast can result in long-term cost and time savings. For additional information on this study, Tensar SpectreRail software, or help with the design, please reach out to your Tensar Regional Manager, visit our website, or feel free to call us. Thanks.